Hi, this is my video on my skincare routine. Um, everything I use is from Lush because that's my favourite store. Um, Lush does handmade cosmetics, all of which are natural. Well, they're mostly natural. They have some chemicals, but no bad chemicals. Um, they don't test on any animals or anything, which is always a good thing. Um, and they run, run campaigns against some things like um, the Canadian tar sands. Um, no offence Canada, I, I love you with me. Um, yeah, so this is my skincare routine. Okay, so the first thing I start with is a fresh face mask. Um, these are, they only last for a month and you have to keep them in the fridge. But they're fresh with no preservatives, so um, it's never really a bad thing. Um, they're 525 to 75 grams, which is a pot about this big. Um, yeah, if you can see that. Um, so you might think it's kind of expensive but it's not when you think about it in the long run and they actually do work if you get the right one for your skin um, anyway yeah so at the moment I'm using Catastrophe Cosmetic um, but I don't really find it's working it's meant to reduce inflammation which um, I don't find it does but some a lot of people love it so I'm sure I am probably just one of the people whose skin type doesn't suit it um, but the one I found, which I've tried before, uh, that I really did work, is called Cupcake. Um, it's like a chocolate mint one, so it smells yummy, and it says it's for teenage and oily, spotty skin, so that's pretty much me. Um, um, the next one I want to try is Otifix, purely the smell, because it smells like porridge, and mm, it's yummy, but yeah. I use a face mask every other day on areas where I tend to get spots, so generally everywhere. Um, yeah, so the next thing I use, which I actually have with me, is a toner pad. Um, the man in the store is really nice and he gave me, it, they look like this by the way, um, and he gave me um, this free and some samples of things and some toners and stuff because I'm a regular and I said I was a little down about my skin. so gave me lots of these um, and he said next week I'll help me find a face mask so that's nice um, anyway yeah so he gave me one of these which um, is the tea tree one these are 75p there's three um, vitamin C vitamin E and tea tree and there's also another one which is called tokens of the forest gods or something which is 99p so. um, this is the tea tree one which he said is good for spots so he gave me this free so I thought hey and what you do is you put this in a bowl of hot water not boiling because otherwise you'll steam your face off um, yeah that doesn't really make sense what I mean is the steam will hurt you <laughs> um, yeah so you put it in a bowl of hot water um, it will fizz um, as it's fizzing you put your head over the hot water with a towel on top so it's like um, a facial kind of um, but for steam and it gets rid of all your blackheads um, all the dirt and stuff and you stay and you keep your head over it and I can only do it for about five minutes because I get so bored. It's really boring. Um, but if you can do it for longer, then great. Do it for longer. But you know, and this cleanses your pores, so it's really good for getting the dirt out and things. Okay. Um. So that's the start. The next thing I use is a solid cleanser. Um. They do four of these in tubs this big. Um. This is Angels on bare skin. And uh, this. Um, it's the first one he used. He said this is for all types of skin, so I thought I'll try this one first. But um, I love, I do like it, but um, it hasn't been doing much. In all honesty, it, it like uh, it's good, but it's not great. Yeah, I don't think it suits my skin. I think this is for more for people who don't get spots and um, only the odd spot. Whereas I always have spots, like I take medication for it, so I don't think this really suits my skin. But anyway, yeah, this is called Angels on Bare Skin, and it, this is a hundred gram, a hundred. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah, this is a hundred gram pot, and it's five eighty for this. Um, and it says this simple ancient blend of ingredients is a worldwide bestseller. So yeah, this is for 
it's universal just it doesn't seem to work for me and it smells like lavenders and herbs um i think rosemary i think but um how you use this it, it looks like this but mine's kind of mushed together because i make it into balls um so it's easier to use because i'm always in a rush so um i take a bit like this size they say pea but i use slightly more um put it in your hand and then mix it with water until you get like a paste um um, they say make it into like a milk, um, but I, I find that kind of gets everywhere, so I don't. Um, I just make it into like a paste, and then what you do is you rub it all over your skin, like massage it in, and then um, wipe it off with like a cloth or a loofah or a flannel. Yeah, yeah, a flannel, that's what it's called. Um, I used to shower because um, it has a little bit, a little bit, ugh little bits of grit in it which I find get everywhere they're so annoying they get all in your hairline all in your mouth and uh, that's the only thing I don't like about this one and um, it's, it's really annoying when you try and wash it off but apart from that yeah it's, it's this um, they only last for three months because they have no preservatives so I'm going to try and use mine up but it's kind of annoying because I spent the money on it and I don't particularly like it so next time I think I'll try um, the one called herbalism they do four, one called Herbalism, Angels on Bare Skin, um, Dark Angels, which I heard can leave a kind of a mark on your skin, so um, be careful for that one, like wipe your face like twice or whatever, and one called Aquamarina, which I find smells like fish, but you may not. Um, yeah, so Herbalism is kind of the only one, other one I want to try, but they do all different types of cleansers, like they do like... Um, uh, cream, solid cleansers, serums, like pretty much everything. So, yeah. Um, the next thing I use is called tea tree water, which is a toner, but it's got no alcohol in it, so it's not really harsh. And um, what I do, what I do with this one is I spray it on here. Some people spray it straight in their face, but I find it kind of goes everywhere, so I don't do that. Um, I use like a third of this, so I like use like this much. Um, you spray it on like this and then just wipe it all over your face mm. and then it should make your face kind of tingle um i don't mind it that it tingles because this one's meant to be for spots so maybe that's why it tingles but i think next time i may try a gently one because this one i find kind of itches i always want to itch my face and that's not good once you've used to steam and you're um see it's really itchy um when you've used to steam and you're pores are all like open and then you've got like dirty hands and ugh, I just don't know the thought of it so I don't know about that one I might try a gentler one next time but for uh, this uh, for this 100 gram bottle it's 345 which isn't too bad you can get a 250 gram one for 675 which is better um, for your money like if you're going to continuously buy this but I wanted to try it so um, he was going to give me a free one of these but I had it already so um, he didn't, which I'm kind of bummed about because um, I probably would have used it again, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, so this is, um, apparently it gets rid of dirt, tightens your pores, um, looking at the website here, and yeah, so it's all good. Um, okay, so the next thing I use is a, because he, like, personally recommended some, like, products and samples and things, um, Oh, that sun is bright. Um, he gave me a sample of this, which is called Vanishing Cream. Um, he said this is the best one for young people because young people have like, like me, um, quite like young skin doesn't. You don't really need moisturiser, but he said um, this one's good. And it says low fat moisturiser, light, easily absorbed cream with only 11% oils helps acne prone oily skin and t-zone problems gets rid of the old stick maybe that's why he gave it to me yeah so it's only 11% oils um i can't really say if it's any good because i haven't been using it um i didn't know it's good for spots i thought it help it would bring out the spots more so yeah i can do a review of this if i decide to buy it off um for a 45 gram tub it's 15.95 which makes it the third expensive one so it must be must be good. Um, oh, just dropped it. Oh well. Um, 
what was I going to say? Okay, so hopefully it will help my dry skin. The smell, it doesn't really smell of anything. It's kind of just, it's not kind of just there, it's just a smell. Um, yeah, so that's my skincare routine. So I start with my face mask, go to a toner tab, um, then I use the Angel's on Bare Skin Cleanser, and then the toner, and then the moisturizer. So, um, yeah, I don't use a tab every night because I just don't have that many. But maybe um, once I get once I get them, I will. So I'll let you know about that one. Um, yeah, so Lush is really good product. Their products contain no bad chemicals, don't test on animals, which is always a plus, and they're fair trade. Um, the only thing I have heard is problems with mail order, um, when you order online or through the phone, but don't let me put you off because they always include samples, so sometimes they miss things out um, or your parcel is smashed. But you can um, ring mail order and they will... Um, send your stuff if you, they've missed anything out and often include samples like I got this sample of Honey Oyster Kids it did have honeycomb on but and um, free and look how big that is that's huge it's like 100 grams so same with like £3 or so so it's really cool um, yeah so I definitely recommend Lush it's, it's really good um, yeah but I'd smell everything before you buy it just in case you hate the smell like um, Acme Marina I got bought for me as a gift and I hated it so I couldn't use it so it's kind of a bit of a bum but hey um, yeah so that's my review on my skincare routine and thanks for watching um, just comment down below if you want me to do any individual reviews of any Lush products like um, a soap or what the whatever and I'll do it as soon as I can yeah thanks for watching